Hi, this is a quick video on the referral partner window. You have the ability to add a referral partner. Uh, you can add referral partners here and you can also assign a particular plan or a flyer or a project to a referral partner. This is helpful because it helps you to track the number of referrals that you're getting from specific partners, the value of those referrals. It also allows you to co-brand and to actually incorporate your partner in some of your marketing activities. Now, when I click on uh, the uh, and expand the referral partner field here, uh, it will typically uh, be blank, and I can add, edit, delete, or invite a partner. Now, if I go through and collect and select an existing partner, then basically now it's saying that this particular referral came from this partner, and I'm going to see their name, uh, any license information, their contact numbers, and their email address, so I can quickly and easily send an email. I'll see their name. I can add them. Uh, I mean, I can add another partner. I can edit them. I can delete them. Or I can invite them to join me via the web. And I'll talk more about that in a second. I'll see their address, their website, a picture and their logo. And I'll see a trailing, rolling 12-month referral history so I can see how many referrals I've received from that company, from that advisor, from that realtor, etc. Now, if I want to go through and uh, let's say I haven't added the partner that sent me this particular client referral, uh, then I'll simply go in and click the Add button. And when I do, it's going to pop up this window here. And what I'm going to do is go through and create a, a partner. This is an advisor. His name is Joe uh, Thompson. Uh, he happens to be a, a CFP. I don't know his license number. I know his phone number. I know his uh, fax number, don't know his mobile. I do know his email, Joe Thompson at cfcfp.com. His company name is Capital Advi uh, Advisors. Street address is 123 Main Street. Let me bring this up a little bit so I make sure that it's in the uh, window and you can track what I'm putting in. I just want to see how you fill this out. I can put in a city as Durham, North Carolina, 27509. His website is CAFP.com. And then I can upload his photo. Now, ideally, you'd want the photo to be the right size, but it's okay if it's not. The software will do its best to go through and auto size that photo for you. Most people have their uh, photos and these can be pulled down from their website. Uh, if you know that particular advisor's photo, or I'll just go ahead and kind of uh, click one here and double click on it, and that's all I have to do. If I want to upload that uh, company logo, it's the same thing. I click browse. It's going to ask me where that logo is. I'm going to go through and browse to where that logo is on my computer. Um, most of the logos can come right from their site, right? So I'm going to click save. And I've just gone through and added a new partner into the system. So that partner is now here. If I want to assign this plan to that partner, I can click Joe Thompson. And it's going to go through and bring up that information, all the information that I have. Uh, and then I've chosen to put in about this particular advisor. Obviously, this would be, this would be different. Um, this would be refreshed for that particular advisor. Um, now, I can go in at any time and add more information. Let's say that later on, I found out that his uh, mobile number is this, and I click the Save button. And when I go through and add that, you notice it immediately refreshes and brings in that mobile number for that particular uh, advisor. I could delete Joe, but let's say I've just added Joe, and I'd like for him to be a, a true part of my network. I'd like for him to be able to connect with me via the web. If I click this Invite button, it's going to open up in my email browser a pre-written email invitation to Joe. You would then edit that however you want to edit it and send it to him. Joe will have an opportunity to click your link, go to the website, and open up his own free account and log in. And when he does that, it's going to send you an email and let you know that you and Joe are now connected. And that person is now going to show up on the transfer plan box. So now your partners, anytime you click transfer plan, you would see Joe's information here and you'd have the ability to send a plan to him he'd have the ability to send a plan to you. So you can send a plan to any referral partner that's accepted your invitation to be a partner. But what this allows you to do later on when you're doing certain types of uh, plans, like for example, an open house flyer, 
Uh, there's certain types of plans you may create that very much would want to incorporate both you and your referral partner. Now, when I create those flyers or those plans, I'm going to have not only my information, my logo and picture, etc., but I can also have my partner's information there as well. So hopefully uh, this helps and you can go in again at any time and edit. If uh, Joe gets a new uh, picture, all I have to do is click that browse button, go through to my web to my uh, computer and see if I can find that picture. You would save it typically to your desktop or something like that. And I see, okay, there's Joe's picture. I click the browse button and I click save and it's going to immediately update that. And again, most of these photos and logos can be found very easily on the web. Just go to the partner's site, go to the CAFP.com or whatever your partner's site would be. And when you go to that particular site, just right click that picture and save it to your desktop. Right click their logo and save it to your desktop. And in doing that, you're going to be able to quickly and easily set that partner up and you're going to be able to create some very nice brochures, flyers, and other marketing materials that incorporate not only your content, your logo, your company information, but also that of your partners.